So we have the tank update. I left it yesterday with the tank was a bit murky. So I put the fish back in. As you can see, the tank is crystal clear now. Fish are back in. Uh, under gravel's running, but as I said yesterday, it's just running on temporary air at the minute. The USB airs. Bottle filter, I can't get it running because I don't have enough air coming from the pump. That's the air pump that's over here. My little adjustable one. Really good pump, but not big enough for what I need for now. Or now, should I say. So, I did a bit of shopping online, and I managed to find this, if I can get it out with one hand. Like that, over the camera. Right, so I managed to find a four outlet version of a Blackton pump. I already have a two outlet version in the garage, and I have an old um, Blackton pump which is a big one, pond, big pond one, uh, on the vats outside. It's never let me down. So I found this four outlet one for roughly the same price as the two outlet one. Um, but this was only at £45. These normally retail at £75. They're about £76. I think it's for £77.95, something like that. Yeah. Um, so I thought that was a cracking deal. So... It's going to do everything that we need. Oh, wrong side. Turn it over. Right side. You see, it's more than we need for the, just these two tanks. Just pop the line through. If we ever decide to put another tank in here or whatever, I think the wife would probably kill me, but you know, hey ho, such is life. Anyway, don't normally do unboxings, but let's see what's in here. So we've got some air stones, green ones, as we would do with blanking. Two, three, 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 so far. An airline, silicon airline, which we do like. On the other way, two. Uh, some more in this, isn't there? We want a three, three rolls on the airline. This is the box complete. Yep, another air stone, another roll of line. Four rolls, four little airline, air tubing, and four air stones. Reasonable size air stones, not bad. And we've got a little monster unit in here. And we've got a book of destructions, which no one ever reads. So I can go back in there. I only read them when they go wrong. Right, let's see this. There we go. Nice big air unit. Let's say it's more than what we need. If it's a lot more than what we need, what I'll do is I'll swap it over with the two outlet one that's in the garage because that works quite well. That's running the blue tank bottle filter, big bottle filter on the blue tank, and the other the gravel filter on the black tub, black vat. And it's also running an airline into the patio pond. So that's the airline's probably about 10, 15 foot long. So it's still doing a good job. But four air outlets, I think we probably only need three. But as I said, we'll sort this out. Bring that little unit there. I do like Blackton's air pumps. I bought pumps from other places before. I bought all pond solutions of pump, air pumps, and they always break down. They always um, crack. The outer casings crack and stuff. I've had three from them, and they've always cracked. So even though they're cheap, and they run for a... Usually, usually they run for about a year, and once it's out of warranty, the case is all cracked and it doesn't hold its air anymore. But these, I've been well impressed. I've got an old one that runs on the bats and the other pond, and never had a problem with that. And so I've got one of these, a smaller version of this, in the garage. Anyway, that's just a quick update. I'll do the rest of this tomorrow because I've got to put a plug on it, and then I've got to rerun my airlines, which we're going to have to use air airlines. I'll show you. I've got a bag on. I've already opened down here. So it's a thicker grade airline than what I've got already. So that should shift more air. Because what I want to do is get rid of all this. So that hang on, hang on is going to go. These two filters are going to go. And then all we're running on these two tanks is light for electricity costs anyway. Because that's our major problem is light and in this top tank a heater which i turned right down 
Um, comes summer, that'll go off, and then this thermal wrap will come off, and hopefully we'll get some heat from outside. And then in here, the heat is off, so we've just got lights, and then everything else is will be just air filtration wise. And the same with this. This is just trying to cut the our electricity costs because our electricity cost is huge. Um, I've got to do something about it, and the majority of it is down to the fish and the equipment we've got. Um, a lot of it could be down to the, the old pump I've got in the big pond, in the main pond. It's 18 years old and it was energy rated A plus back then. I suspect it's probably not anymore. If you're looking for some food, I suspect it's not anymore, but I've got a tester to put a test on it. Uh, so I'll probably do that tomorrow. If the weather's not too bad outside. So that's just a quick update. I'll do all the pipe work and fitness air pump tomorrow. And then we'll have a look to see what the flow rate is like. Hopefully it'll be better than that because I want it better than that. We may change the air stones in them. That one's better. Obviously I need a bottle filter running. We're going to put a sponge filter on the bottom. I've got the sponge filters all ready to go. So this is going to be our sponge filter with a little up pipe. And then we're going to put a bottle on top. So we're going to use a slightly bigger bottle. So we're going to use one of these bottles. We can add a label. Obviously that's going to come off. But obviously that is too big for that. So I'm going to drill a hole. Do the other way around. Drill a hole. The same size as that. Slightly fraction smaller than that. In that lid there. And then that'll be a nice tight fit. And we should get loads of media in there. That drink wasn't very nice by the way. But I like the bottle shape. So that's why I bought it. And it was cheap. Anyway, on that note, I will get back to you later. Bye. Right, so we're back. Uh, new pump is in. All new pipeline is in. I was going to try and run it off T's. So we had one pipeline, T into there, and then one pipeline to T into there. But it didn't quite work that way. So I've ended up running lines, but it's not too much of a hassle. Bolt the filter is in on this little sponge filter at the bottom. Bottle is slightly too big, so I need to find a small bottle for that because we have to keep the water quite high. Um, Hose pipe because it's just been topped up. As you see, it's crystal clear. Underground was doing great. Flow is a little bit high, but I prefer it to be high than low. Pump is a little bit noisy, but I'm not too concerned about it because we just shut the back door. Just shut the door. They're doing all right. That one's bubbling away nicely. So we're virtually all set up to take these filters off. All I'm waiting for the waiting to do, or waiting for, should I say, not waiting for, is I'm waiting for this bottle filter to get a bit more mature and the undergravel to get a bit more mature. So that'll probably be next week. So then all this equipment is going to go away. And hopefully that should cut our electricity bill. I've also done the same thing with a little tank in the front room, which has got fry in it. I've taken the motor out and the filter out. So this box filter that was on top, I've taken this out. which just still on clean. And I put under gravel in there as well. And with all we're running there, again, it's just heater and light for electricity wise. And the little pump is a USB pump run on my back, one of my batteries. Once the battery starts to die, I'll just swap them over and charge it up. They usually last about a week, so it's not too bad. Fish are doing great. Wish they grow a bit more, but they will in time. On that note, I think we're done for this one. So this was just an update to the last video. If you liked the video, think about subscribing. It helps the channel out a lot. If you did like the video, think about hitting thumbs up. If you don't like the video, hit thumbs down. That's fine. If you've got any comments, suggestions, anything to say at all, put it in the comments section below. If you hit the bell notification button, it will notify you every time I upload a new video. And on that note, I think I'm done. And I'll catch you on the next one. Stay safe. Bye.